Ooh la la. Ooh ooh ooh. Bam. Mmm. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this sexy ass car, guys. Mm. What up, Misfits? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Ferlene. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below, done, and I'm gonna give you a shout out in my next video. So, as you can see, we're in the Audi. Audi Q5 of 2021, guys. Airless charging capabilities. Look at this sexy ass thing. Throw your phone there, bam. We're going to Applebee's right now, so I'm, I'm placing our order. I'll get back to you guys in a second, and I'll explain why we got this car. All right, guys, back to the video. Now we finished our order, and you guys are probably like wondering, why do you guys keep eating outside? Didn't you guys say you were going to be on a diet if you watched my last video? Yes, we are. We just had a lot of shit happen this week, so we have not had time to go to the supermarket like we normally do, so we've been eating out a lot more than we normally do, and we are feeling guilty about it, but at the same time, we're kind of splurging. We gonna eat. We gonna eat when we gonna eat. <laughs> so Big Bertha had to go get some repairs done. She had to go get, get her nails did. Go get her nails did, her shoes shined. And Big Bertha, once again, if you guys are new here, Big Bertha's our car. And this is like a horrible view right now because like you can't see. It's the lighting. It's, it's alright. It's the lighting, guys. Sorry for the bad lighting. But yeah, how do you feel about this car, Yeffer? Yeah, I like it. I mean, that's how they get you. You know, at the end of the day, they give you something nice, brand new, shiny, new toy. Like, hey, here, just drive this until you get your old one back. And then when you get back, you're like, keep that shit. Sign your papers for the new one. But I have to say, they did a really good job on the updates from where the car is to what it is now. Like, they got the USB port right yeah, here. Yeah, like, that's a huge thing. Like, this, you guys have no idea how important this shit is. And, like, this, too. Because, like, in our car, that's one of the reasons that we hate Big Bertha and she's going to trade it in as soon as we can get a car. Is because she has no USB ports. And you're like, that's she crazy. Has no she has literally no technology. She has no USB port. And this car is from 2000. 16. Like about this car that we have not spoken about, the door handles. Have you noticed the door handles? Yeah, how they go up. They go up when you pull it. I think that's mad though. But look at this, guys. Look at this. It shows you the whole parking lot. Yeah. It shows you the surroundings. Freaking awesome. I don't know how they it has do a button for park. Look at this button for park out here. Use the pinky, the strong finger. <laughs> We're here at the Whole Foods picking up food because like I said before, we ran out of food. So let me know guys in the comments down below if what do you think about this car? Do you think it's nice? What do you think about it? You guys get an Audi? If not, let me know also in the comments. I prefer Mercedes Benz. I'm a G-Wagon type of girl. <laughs> Back so soon. And the beeping is nicer when you don't have your seatbelt on. I feel like the car that we have is mad aggressive. It's like, put your seatbelt on, bitch. Like that type of aggressive. New York, this is from Cali. Yeah, this is from Cali. This is more chill. Bye, Whole Foods, please. Jeffrey look lost out here. Look at this. What is he doing now? Oh, he's coming back. That was cool. All right, well, now we're heading home, guys. Why were you outside, like, looking like you were lost? Because I thought I had to go in, and I went in because she said on the side. I opened the door, uh huh, and I was in their kitchen. <laughs> really? Yeah, I felt bad. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I was like, what the hell? So guys, when I went in, I legit opened the door like, mm -hmm. and then I I closed it back up. That's funny. I made eye contact with one of the cooks. <laughs> Crazy. Blue the pub. You <laughs> sound like Blue's Clues. If you guys are not interested in cars and we're talking about it, sorry. But you can learn something about cars. Yeah, so, so like, you know when you're at the stoplight and you like look mm -hmm. to the side and you see somebody and they're about to like... And they're uh, trying to race you and shit. Yeah. And show off that your car's slow. So that's when you got that twin turbo, you go... You, you, know. you ever been in a car? It's like the King the Car ride in Six Flags, you like... Zero to 100. <laughs> Like that, like you feel the car push you back. It's like that type of shit. If you like if you like speed, if you got the need for speed, get a twin turbo. <laughs> Side. We like to go. We got places to go. Mm. Give them a kiss. Give them a kiss. You can give them a kiss. <laughs> it's day two. 
and we picked up Big Bertha. Big Bertha is back. We're 15 away to get 100 subscribers, guys, so we can do the 100 layer challenge. Come on, guys. And then when I get to 100, I also have a surprise for you guys. You'll want to see what's going to happen for the 100. 95 degrees today. It, we're in the middle of a heat wave. Oliver is burning up, as you can see. We always finding these gems out Yeah, here. I know. <laughs> Last time it was the car with the cheater on it. Yep, now today is the bus, the train. I don't know if you can see it. The train is moving, guys. See, in life, you just need a little bit of patience. I Everything is patience in your life. That had the song goes on, right? <laughs> no. A lot of grit, patience, and strength. Anything can be accomplished. And if you want that single, it's gonna be in iTunes tomorrow. Make sure you purchase it. It's only gonna be 99 cents. So I hope you guys are gonna have a fantastic 4th of July weekend. We're gonna obviously barbecue. I'm trying to get real fireworks. I'm trying to see if I can convince the free so we can go get some real fireworks, take a little road trip, maybe road trip. <laughs> road trip to Philly. Do you think that there's extraterrestrial beings out here on this earth? Leave or it in the this comments universe? below. I'm one of them. <laughs> He's one of the reptile people. <laughs> nah, but for real, Jeffrey, do you think that there's extraterrestrial beings out here? Me personally, there's no way there's like billions of universe and we're the only thing to live. Yeah, like I, I feel impossible. like, yeah, this is impossible. I was actually having this conversation with my friends today. Like this universe that we live in is 14 billion years old. Did you know that? And it has a shitload of planets in it. Yeah, like we haven't seen all this shit. We haven't even discovered everything in our own universe. And there's other universes like ours. Like, it's impossible. Let's just put it this way. Isn't it like 95? I forgot the percentage of the ocean that hasn't been discovered. We've only been <laughs> yeah, we don't know if there's freaking We don't, you don't even know what the animals. fuck is in the water. That beach water you go into, you don't even know what the hell's in that water. It could be a whole world in there. The Little Mermaid could be real people. Let's look it up. What's the percentage of yeah, 90, 95? I was correct. 95% of the ocean has not been discovered, which means 5% of the ocean has only been discovered. If you know Matt, that's that's like really bad. And y'all be eating shit from the ocean. Y'all don't even know what that is. Yo, know, that shit be tasting good though. Yeah. Shrimp. Yeah. Who out there like some shrimp? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> some little seafood, you know, salmon. Uh huh. Listen, I don't eat seafood, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit about this. But every night, I will never forget this. We were watching the Discovery Channel. This is why you don't watch the Discovery Channel, my people. So, oh, hold on, I gotta switch out the battery. The camera battery's dying, well, guys. All right, now you you're up and running. Yeah, looking good now. Let me make sure. All right, cool. All right, misfits. So, like I was saying. Yeah, every night, our first vacation that we ever took, I'm never gonna forget it. We went to the Dominican Republic, we were at a resort, we're watching the Discovery Channel. Don't, I don't know why we were watching the Discovery Channel. It was raining. Yeah, it was raining. And they were talking about the ocean, and there was this fish that basically was eating everything off the ocean. It ate something that was a parasite that basically ate its tongue, and the parasite then became one with the fish. And became the fish's tongue. And became the fish's tongue. After that, I was like, hell no. I'm never, ever eating fish. I don't know, something something about it just creeps me the fuck out. I don't like that it's slimy, I don't like the texture. I have that vision in my head. Look up penguin teeth. <laughs> Where are you going, penguin teeth? Mad fucking random. <laughs> Look up that shit. talking about fish. Look up penguin teeth, because my sister and I had this conversation the other day about fucking penguins. <laughs> <laughs> You're like chicken, animals, like don't eat fish. Look up the chupacabra. <laughs> when I started thinking about the ocean, I started thinking about uh, penguins as well because I had this conversation with my sister the other day and we were talking about penguins and how their teeth are like disgusting. Listen, I'm not afraid of penguin teeth. What I'm scared of is fucking dolphins. Look up dolphins. If you look up videos of dolphins in the ocean, yo, another note. It's five, five, five. Those are angel numbers, guys. That means that a new journey and a new opportunity in my life is about to arise. If you guys want something to happen for you and put it out in the universe. Why is there a letrina, a porta potty, like right in the middle of the street? This is the shit that runs through my brain. Imagine that you're taking a shit, literally, in that porta potty and the car just. <laughs> 
Random. <laughs> Pants down. <laughs> like. Man, I don't think you have to worry about the pants. At that point, it's more of the shit coming at you. <laughs> at least the EMT don't gotta clean up too much. <laughs> this is the stuff that goes on in my brain, guys. I don't know why, but I think of weird shit like that. Like, guys, you won't believe what the fuck we just saw right now. We, we, oh, I can't even go back. We, sure. It's fine. We're, I'm just gonna ex describe it to you. Even though it's gonna make no complete sense and you're gonna be like, what the hell? Like, I can't even describe it to you because it was just so funny. We saw a T-Rex on someone's lawn with a mustache wearing an apron. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, we're about to make a U-turn so you guys can see it. This shit is hilarious. Something about that makes me feel like I need to be friends with these people. Look, guys. Look at the turret. Look at his mustache. He has a wrench. Look at a wrench. Mm -hmm. And he's wearing a little apron. Shout out to the house for keeping it popping, the area popping. And if you guys saw the little mustache, <laughs> it was curved. It looked like it had the Mario mustache. Let me know in the comments down below if that was worth the U turn. All right, we just got home. I'm gonna do a Target haul. This will be a part of a new segment, guys. We're gonna be doing a Target haul since I'm always going places, but I never show you guys actually what I buy, right? So you're probably wondering, like, Ferlini, why are you going to all these fucking places? What are you buying? What are you buying at all these stores? All right, let's go. Let's show you what I got at Target, at Target. So I got these little toallitas, you know, for your hair, like hair ties. I'm fucking tired of using regular big ass towels in my hair when I'm fucking when I'm washing my hair. And like, um, I didn't realize that Target had those. It's funny, it was actually in the recommended part when I was purchasing, so I was like, ooh. I got some hair. Everything I purchased today was for my hair. Because, you know, I have new short hair, so sorry for the bag rustling in the back. I got some products for my hair because, you know, I want to try not iron it as much. What the fudge? The cap on this is off. I'm done. See, like this is why sometimes you like to whatever. So these products are recommended to me by my friend. So you know who you are. <laughs> products for my hair. Let's see if this shit works. But this is what I'm most excited about because this, guys, is something that I used in my sister's house, which I actually enjoyed using. It's this wave brush. So it basically gives you that mermaid look where it kind of crinkles your hair and it sculpts it into like beach hair. So I'm, ex I'm really excited to use this because I used it at my sister's house and it was so much fun. Now that you guys know how the products work out, I'm also excited about using these little towels too. Let me do my favorite part, the ripping of the parts of the stuff. Yeah, I was tired of using the fucking towels that I have here now. What the fuck? How does this even work? How does this work, guys? Let's look, I figured it out. <laughs> Yo. Why am I having fun with this? The stuff that you buy when you're an adult that you freaking have, have fun with. Yo. So I'm reading the instructions, right? And then the instructions, it says, this product can burn your eyes. You see that? That just makes me think, who put this in their eye? Because obviously they had to put that there because someone put it in their eye. So I am gonna end the video there. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys continue to show on this channel. Love you guys so much. Try to be more productive this week, so we'll see what happens, who, who knows? You know, only time myself. So, love you guys. Peace.